Hey everyone, yeah, I'm here with my review, audio video review of issue 264 of Sonic the Hedgehog, the first part of the control arc, which is finally the debut of the Werehog version of Sonic. And I, I will, I, I will give Ian Flynn some credit um, that it was. It's been a nice build-up to get into this point, but you know, it, 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 to me, this is something I think Ian Flynn. This is just my opinion, but I think this is something that Ian Flynn probably wanted to do in the original timeline, in the original continuity, but never did. I, I think honestly, he wanted to do this. And he just never had the time, um, never had the time to do it. And now he's doing it, and I have to give him credit, he's found a way of kind of building up to it. And I'm not saying that this is probably what, this is probably not how he would have done it in the original continuity, but I think this is something that is, to me, is very well done in, in a sense, because you're building it up. You're kind of going with Sonic's character from like an in-game universe standpoint where he's stubborn, basically. He's basically telling everybody, look, I'm fine, I'm cool. But, you know, they know and, you know, and, he, and even he knows, but he doesn't want people to, he doesn't want anybody really knowing that he's not fine. And, you know, you have this issue where you have this kind of the shaman, this kind of like Zen Yoda-like guy that senses the darkness inside of him. And you have them literally, especially Amy, you have Amy calling them out on it. So, uh, the, the issue so far, uh, uh, the issue, uh, I'll say this, it's very well done. Um, the story's good. Uh, it's a nice reintroduction for, for Mighty and, and, and Ray into the, into, the, into the fray, if you will. I mean, yeah, we kind of got an introduction with him. I think what was in the universe or something, or, or in the other issues of Sonic, I got a look, uh, reintroduction for him. But it it was nice to see him kind of get back into that fray with Sonic, and I I I, I like the fact that you know just like some people have said over the Bumble King forums and other sites that um, this is a a, a nice uh, this is a nice kind of. Um, a nice kind of twist with this new continuity and everything. Well, basically, the Freedom Fighters have always known about Ray. They've always known about Mighty, and that basically, to Sally, the ordinary they are honorary Freedom Fighters in her eyes. So, yeah, basically, the story sets up very well um, to where it's got to go. Um, you know, you basically have Sally you know, kind of being suspicious and almost like she's realizing that Eggman is on to them now. She's like, she knows. It's like she could sense, you know, just by the fact that the way the, the Gamma robot was chasing Sonic at the beginning and, and, and it detected uh, Sally and Amy hiding in the bushes. It's it's almost like, it's, it's almost like the, the, um, you know, it's almost like Sally is realizing, if not has realized, that Eggman's catching up, has caught up, has caught up, but has caught on to them and what they're planning to do. So now, basically, what this means to me is it's going to lead to another situation uh, down the line. Now, some people may say that um, this could be the end of the Freedom Fighters and all that, and I don't, I don't think so. I mean... Honestly, why would you bring them back? Why would Ian Flynn, Flynn bring them back the way he has if he's just going to, you know, do them off again? And I, I don't think that's going to happen. You know, it, it, the synopsis for all the upcoming issues are just cliffhangers. They're trying to get you to, you know, get into the story, kind of get you to read the story and all that. So that that's the only reason they say that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, though, I, I, I look... You know, again, the story's not too bad. You know, it's actually pretty good. Um, again, I, I like how, you know, you have Sonic through his almost game verse, uni game universe self kind of denying, hey, look, guys, I'm cool, I'm everything, I'm fine. But yet, you you know, you, you have everybody pretty much suspecting something's not, 
something's wrong, something's not, you know, totally right. Um, I, I, I do like the fact that, you know, you have Mighty kind of acknowledging that, hey, Sonic, you're always around, you're always traveling, you're always traveling around and all that, but hey, if Sally's here with you, then you gotta be, it's, you gotta be here for, for a specific reason, you know, and all that, so... You know, the story's good. I mean, I like Amy's kind of communication with Sonic. Like, hey, you know, she's telling him, you know, leave a, a bit of that Gamma Bot for us. Let us have a piece and all that. And how, you know, and, and basically I like how they kind of butt heads at times because she's like, look, you're, you're, you're stubborn and all that. It's like, you just don't listen. And to me, I, I like what, I like, I like the character development they got with Amy here, because Amy, she's not just acting like the fangirl anymore, she's acting more like a dedicated freedom fighter, basically someone that's like, she'll tell Sonic, she'll tell whoever she feels is, you know, being bullheaded about what they're saying, she'll tell him right to the face, but she is gullible at times. She is still gullible. I mean, there is a panel in there where she's basically thinking, hey, don't worry, Sally, there's nothing to worry about. You know, Eggman's not really on to us, if that's what you're thinking. And yet, obviously he is, as they find out later on in the comic. Uh, as far as the Thunderbolt uh, Egg Boss goes, I think, obviously, it's got to be a smaller character. It's got to be someone that's small and, and stuff and... You know, it's it's, it's, I mean, it's it's got it's too obvious. I mean, why why out of all the egg bosses that we've been introduced to in this new continuity, why is this one like wearing a helmet and all that? So, uh, to me, I think obviously this egg bot os is going to be a small character. It's got to be a hamster. It's got to be maybe someone that's sort of the same species as maybe Chip is. So, I think. That's that's where we're heading with that with the Thunderbolt old character, or the Thunderbolt air bo uh, egg boss. I think that's where we're heading. I think we're heading in that direction uh, with the Thunderbolt character. That it's going to be revealed. It's just a little guy, a little girl, if you will, a little fangirl of Eggman's or whatever. Sort of like I, I I guess I guess you could say sort of like taking a page out of Rio too. If you know what I mean. Uh, you know, in Rio 2, you know, you had this uh, fangirl that had this fangirl chameleon or lizard that had this crush on the, can't think of the character's name now, but on the villains, on the villain himself. So, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I think this character is being portrayed. I, I just, I just feel it. I mean, just the way it's being described, just the way the character talks and the description of the character, I think obviously that's that's where we're heading with with this Thunderbolt um, girl. And, you know, the, the, again, the way they've built up to, to Sonic becoming a werehog finally, I like how they kind of don't totally go in, a, in an adaption of, of the game because that would be, like, too obvious. Here it's like, you know, it's just building up, building up, building up, until finally Sonic's just had enough. He's got to his breaking point as, of course, the subtitle of the first chapter, the first part of, of uh, Control is. I like how he just gets to his breaking point. He's just had enough. So, overall, good build up, and just got to see what happens in 265. I mean, I you know, and, I, and I've I've said this before in my monthly opinions, and I'll say it again later on probably. I think this is all building to Eggman confronting Sonic and vice versa, and Sonic finally having control, and Sonic just suddenly letting out the Werehog on his own, the Werehog Werehog portion of him on his own, in his confrontation with Eggman, and you know, from a comedic standpoint. I think Ian's going in the direction of having Eggman realize, oh crap, my plants just went down the toilet. And now i got to deal with not just Sonic, but i got to deal with him in this state. So, and I think that's, I think this is all leading to possibly Eggman having no choice but to have to team up the Freedom Fighters to restore the world, whether he likes it or not. So, that's just my opinion, but I'll get into that later. Uh, the second story, featuring Bunny and Antoine... I thought it was very well done. It was a nice little few page story. Um, you know, I, I like how 
it, it the, the the way it was presented was pretty good because here you have you know at the end of it not to you know I don't want to give much away but here at the end of it you have Bunny basically very worried about Antoine you know she doesn't want to lose him again you know she doesn't want to lose him at all you know she doesn't feel she could take it but Antoine he's re he reassures her he says look you know as long as you're here you know as long as I'm here I'm not going anywhere without you so and you know they do reminisce Antoine does reminisce it's like, like you know, hey it was just like yesterday we were married and all that even though the marriage takes place in the other timeline in the old continuity um, it was good to see artistic wise it was good to see James Fry back it was good to see him back because his style fits I think pretty well in an anime kind of way with the characters uh, the two new writers I was surprised they had two writers on the story I thought they did good and this, to me, just shows that Ian Flynn does not need to take the whole brunt of of all the comics. I think Ian Flynn needs to lay back, let these two guys together, individually, along with the other new writers and stuff, even Tracy Yardland, come in and do a few arcs and stories for Universe, for the main comic, for Boom, for Mega Man and Crusaders. I think that's what he needs to do, so... And, and this is just proof right here. This short little story is kind of proof right here it can be done. Uh, overall, 264 was a decent issue. Decent start to the control arc. And like I said, I think I know where it's leading towards. And a uh, decent little backup story, which connects to the main um, overall story arc. So um, it's really, really nice. A really nice issue, and I do recommend anybody... Uh, out there listening to pick it up and enjoy it so um, that's all I'm going to say and that's it so till next time peace out god bless you can comment below if you like